Warning, the following content contains flashing lights which may cause discomfort or trigger seizures. Viewer discretion is advised. Alright, we're back. Let's do this. Time to get out my good old cane. Isn't it cool that there was like the cane of Burner and the cane of Samaria? And one of the items you didn't really need. But if you got it, it just makes life easier. And there's two variants that have the same ability. Of like the cane of Samaria. I don't know if I'm saying that right. I feel like I'm butchering it. But you know that the cape does the same thing as this does. I don't know if anyone else knows that. But it's, it's something interesting to know. But the cape does it at a lower magic cost, I'm pretty sure. And the cape makes you invisible, which is twice as cool. Oh no, not this again. You know, I'm honestly going to need new eyes after this experience. Please never do this kind of flashing light thing in another dungeon. That's my message to the developer, by the way. You see, I'd done that. I timed that deliberately so that I wouldn't get hit. Okay. This time I'm going to have to play it safe because I, I realised that that Book of Medora does not offer any solutions to this dungeon. It actually causes you more pain. Okay. Now I can get through this quickly. Okay, I can't get through this quickly. I had to take a death. Not intentionally. It's because I'm silly. Okay, hearts. Hearts went up to seven. So, fairy only heals for seven hearts. Which is normal, I think. And it's good I know this now. Because I was going to get a four fairies. Just in case. And that would have been stupid. Okay, let's get through this. It's, it's cool, because once you figure out they're on the rotation, it makes this so much easier. Hit the blue switch. Alright. We're going to go through here. Basically, run round. This is the best tactic, just run round here. Alright, I'm going to end it in this room. Oh, wait. I, I just started a new part. Ignore me. I lost track of time. I was zoning out a bit too much. This part. Okay. Okay, I need to play this super safe. Okay, frame rate dying. I don't need slow motion. Okay. Okay, this is weird what I'm doing right now. If you see this, this is mad. I'm basically trying to keep with the with the rhythm of these traps. So I'm basically having to go back full, back and forth, I mean. I can't even say things right because of this game stressing me out. Oh no. Alright. The question is, am I going to survive this next bit? Oh yeah, I can get hearts here. I almost forgot for a second I could get a heart refill. Isn't it nice you can get hearts here? And I almost thought I was going to die and just cry about it, but... No, nope, we're not dying. It's all good. Sorry if I uh, stressed a bit and got paranoid, but you know how it is when the game's trying to throw everything at you to try and kill you. And you're just trying to do your best to just get through everything without dying and taking hits. And then you seem to keep taking hits because for some reason you're not good at dodging. And the game asks you, why aren't you dodging? And you're like, but I'm trying to get through to the end as quick as I can. And the game says, you're not a speedrunner. Keep practicing. And then you're just like, haha, I have the power of save states. So good luck trying to get me to practice. Okay, we're going to need this bad boy. Okay, let me just, let me just scoot along here. Don't mind if I do. If I can get through this without using the cane, that'll be amazing. Because I want to save it for the boss. It turns out magic doesn't regenerate as fast as I thought it does. And that might be 
a problem later down the line. So, yeah. Oh yeah, we need to go find that old lady and go get our magic powder. Darn it, fairies, don't come at me at once. Okay, everything is fine. Okay, here's another Zelda quiz question. Which has multiple answers. Name a Zelda game which Link does not receive a tunic upgrade. I'm sure you'll find a few. Okay, boss time. Let's go. Can I just save state and wait here for a little bit? I hate that this part, it basically just is on half the screen, which basically breaks it a little bit. You'll see what I mean when I do it again. If, you, if you're if you just new to tuning into this part and you haven't seen the old parts, then you don't know that basically if you move a certain way, you can break the game. Wait a minute. he, How did he hit me? Wait, 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 go back, go back, load, load, load state. Okay, I'm, I'm, I'm leaving this room for now. If he can hit me while I'm not even in the area, that's, that's not fair. I'm gonna chill here. Where's my skelly friend? Me and him are good friends now. I actually like him. I just realised something. Oh no, it wouldn't work, because, because I was gonna say I can bomb jump across this, but then I realised that. I can, but then I won't be able to get in this room if these switches were activated. So technically, if you were a speedrunner, you could beat the boss first, which I guess is basically the strat, where you'd beat the boss first, maybe, before getting hookshot. I don't know if that's a viable strat to speedrun this game. If anyone who speedruns this game knows, let me know. That'd be interesting to know, to be honest. All right, add in another save state because I'm paranoid. Okay, let's do this. Okay, watch this. Makes the fire disappear. Don't ask how. That's why you gotta basically move, move to part of the screen. Okay, do this. Yeah, you see what happened? Don't ask how that happens and why it does, I don't know. See? And then if you move away again, yep, despawns. It's a good technique to basically keep us alive. Okay, let's see. Is it time? I think it's time. Cane time. Are you telling me I can't use spin attack while doing that? It'd have been nice to know, game. Okay, got a spin attack in. Okay, didn't get one in. Oh, darn it, I was about to dodge that, I'm telling you now. My dodging skills were about to go ultra instinct and I was going to become like Goku, I swear. But it didn't turn out that way. At least I figured out how to... Okay. Get the red potion out just in case. Let this despawn. Darn it, you hit me with your tail too. That's not fair. If I stay near him, I shouldn't get hit by his tail in theory. Wow, that actually works. Just stay next to him and you don't get hit by his tail. Whoa, 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 whoa. Did I just beat that? And I didn't even have to use this. No reward? Maybe you should go back to the church. Oh my days, did I just get scammed? I got scammed, didn't I? The game's like, oh hey, maybe you should go back to that church. Because you got scammed. Okay, let me save and quit. We're going to start off at the church. Let me guess, the old man got beat up. It's got to be in it. 
You're gonna see him laying there and be like, I'm sorry, I let Zelda get captured. Because it this didn't seem like a bait place for Zelda to be. Oh, he, there he is, lying lifeless. Method, I'm sorry, they found out Zelda was hiding here and took her. Please go save her, forget the Master Sword. The Smiths have agreed to help us, go to them, then go to the castle and save Zelda. Stop Dragor once and for all. And remember me as the guy who protected her. I mean, you didn't really protect her, but... I mean, we could remember him, just to be nice. I feel like he deserves a little bit of remembrance. As I guess we could call it. Okay, the Smith's house. I do not remember whereabouts it is, but I'm telling you, it's probably up here. Do you know why I know that? Is because... Pretty sure, uh... Yeah, yeah, I remembered it. Okay, let's get swimming. To the Smith's house. Why does it feel like I'm talking about the American dad family? And I say to the Smith's house. Eh. They're sort of technically related in a weird sort of way. Well, not really, but... Just because of the fact that they're Smith's, I guess. Right, there's a way to get up here. Okay, there it is. Let's make a new sword. I'm going to get a new sword. I'm going to get a new sword. That's not the Master Sword, which is actually strange, but let's do it. Hey, you welcome. Ask us to do anything. I'll give you a big discount. Alright, no problem. We'll have to keep your sword for a while. Enjoy that 10 rupees. Okay. Let's go kill time. Wait a minute. How do we kill time when we can't go in the dark world in and out? Alright, let me talk to them. I'm sorry, we're not done yet. Come back later today. Okay, okay, I'll come back to you later. You know what I can do? I just remembered. We can go to the witch's house. That is probably a good idea. Let's be honest. Can you stop bullying me, please? That one bird's out to get me. And no one can tell me it's not. I honestly believe that. Every time I see those birds, they attack me. And I've never done anything to them. They just see me as their arch enemy for no apparent reason. Like, what have I actually done? Wait. Did I punch that bird? Did you see that? Oh, wait. Or did I throw my boomerang? I might have just thrown my boomerang. And I thought I punched a bird. Which made me super happy, but then sad when I realised it was probably my boomerang. So, more of the story. It was not... What you thought it was. Okay, don't need to go here. You need to keep going this way. Oh, I just realised. Because I don't have a sword. I Basically, if I run into them, I get hurt. So weird. Look at Link. He looks so cute without a sword. I know it sounds weird to say, but it does. He's just like, yo, I'll punch you. <laughs> I'm sitting there running with shield out and his fist out. Like he can hit a man. But he... He just missing. Wait, Link throwing punches, but he always missing. Okay, I feel like I took a wrong turn somewhere. Let's see. Yeah, I was meant to go through Kakariko Village. Uh, I took a wrong turn again. I can't believe I've done this. It's alright, I can go visit the fairy nearby. She'll, she'll heal me up. Bright as... I'll be good as new. And bright as rain. Is what I was going to say. And let's go. Why did I say bright as rain? That was not what it was meant to be. I feel like I was lost in translation while playing this game. Either way. Let's go. Let's get rid of this annoying sound for as well. Because otherwise I'll be scarred. I was about to say I, I can't cut the grass. What do I do? And then I remembered. Oh yeah. Pick it up. I noticed there was one apple less. Did someone eat the fruit on that tree? Because normally four comes out. If you use your sword around sword shoot as your toast. Yeah, I remember you telling me that and I'm still alive, am I? Am I dead? Nope. Exactly. Still alive. What's a sword shooter to a 
to a skilled swordsman, exactly. That is the question you should be asking. I don't know what it would, if it would matter if I was a skilled swordsman, but... You know, maybe it gives me like some sort of brownie points and street cred saying that. I just feel like I can't fight anything and it's actually hurting my soul a bit. You know how, how weird it is to basically have to run past everything because you're, cause you're just weaponless. Like, imagine, this is basically how I was at the start of the game. Do you remember? I was just basically trying my best just to get through one area. And I was struggling because I kept getting shot by annoying lasers. So I had to use save state tricks. And then I managed to do it a couple of times. And then I was so happy. And I can't hit these with the hammer. So that's annoying as well. well I mean, maybe I can. You'd have to time it right, I guess. Oh, I can't use a hook shot against them. It's interesting what you learn when you don't have a sword. Isn't it, game? Can I get my sword back? I want my sword back. Okay, I think I went too far. I did. Ooh, there's, there's something up there. I want to go check that. How do we get up there is the question. Okay, I don't want to get hit by that creature because that creature can kill me. Ooh, another one appeared. Why does it feel like it's like wild Pokemon, the way they appeared? There's like another one. Like, please don't. Oh, come on. You must have be ready by now. There's no way you're not ready. Let's go. Magic powder. You can sprinkle it on enemies. Interesting. Now I'm going to drink this potion. Go buy a blue potion. Yeah, I feel ripped off for buying that red potion earlier, but it was a necessity. I think. Alright, let's go get our new sword. We're going to make this part longer just so we can get a cool new sword. Cool new sword hype. Because you know, when you get a new sword, it's sick. But that leaves the question of, when do I get the master sword? Did you think about it? Is he still dead? Yeah, he's still dead. I think we can safely say that it's sad that this guy's kind of dead. Alright, what happens if I... Wait, I... No way, I was hitting him with my fist. One punch! I wish I was like a one punch man with my fist. So, is the game trying to tell me that I could be hitting er enemies earlier? When I was playing. And I basically didn't realise I could hit enemies. Because I thought it was just... All in my, um, my head. Let me sprinkle you with powder. Okay, sprinkling you with powder did not do anything. So that was upsetting. Why doesn't sprinkling with powder not do anything? That is the saddest part. Oh yeah. There's a game breaking thing where there's a certain item you can get which we may, may or may not get. I haven't decided yet. But. There's a way to stop you from getting it. And uh, what it is, is basically. It's something so silly. Ooh. It changed colour. Just casually prodding the random choo-choo. Okay, I can't really attack it, so let's go get my sword. Come on, sword. Are you ready? Your sword is tempered up. Now hold it. Ooh. Great, your sword is stronger. This sword will be strong enough to beat Dragor. Alright, we'll end it here with this new sword, so I hope you enjoyed that. Until next time. Bye.